Two Blue Fred here, guys. Today we're going to show you how to remove this ignition switch off of the Phantom Blue 2017 Road Glide. This procedure is probably the same procedure for all of the Harleys that have this style ignition assembly right here in the center column on top of the triple tree. Now, a couple of things before we get started. You need to be deliberate about how you have your handlebars turned. So think about the work that you wanna do. Typically, a straight orientation, which is not what we have here, is, is gonna serve you best. But the thing you wanna keep in mind is that once you take this assembly out, if you start turning the wheel, you're going to change the orientation of the tumblers inside of the ignition and then getting this ignition back in is going to be a much bigger ordeal. So don't turn the handlebars once you get this thing out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and we'll talk a little bit more. I have the orientation of the handlebars basically uh, hard, hard right because I'm going to work on this channel on the backside and this is opened up my view to this so that's why i'm doing hard right so we're going to get started what you need is you need a little flat blade screwdriver and you need the barrel key that came with your bike so you need those two pieces in order to do this <laughs> and blue is giving me the keys to his bike all right we're going to turn the ignition in the full fork lock position you're gonna insert your barrel key right here. And we're gonna to try to get a picture of this. Blue, come over here to this side. So once you got that pushed up and you put your barrel key in, if you pull it, and this may take you a couple of times, so be patient. And if you turn it away from the unlock, so counterclockwise from the unlock, and you did everything right, it's gonna pop right up. There's a spring under there, and you pull it out. Now I'm gonna talk about this here for just a minute. You see these teeth right there? These teeth line up with a specific way with the tumblers inside of your ignition switch right here. So that's why when I was talking about once you get this out, you don't want to turn the handlebars because turning the handlebars will change the orientation of this tumbler. And when we go to reinstall it, we're going to reinstall it in the exact same orientation, just like this, so that everything lines right back up. And then we'll unlock it, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, and that will re-engage all of the mechanisms and the bike will work. So... Keep that in mind. Now, if you do, for some reason, get the orientation of the tumblers misaligned because you grab the handlebar, your buddy's been drinking, he comes over and grabs the handlebar, uh, whatever, there is, um, there is a way to take the ignition assembly apart and realign the tumblers so that everything will work and you can put the whole bike back together, okay? Um, Harley will do it for you. They'll charge you an arm and a leg. Everything at Harley is $100, so it'll be at least a couple hundred dollars. All right. There's also a tool that people sell to help you to realign those. None of those are necessary. You can take the ignition assembly apart. It's not very complicated. We'll do a video on that at some point in the future when we need to do that. Um, but then you can realign the tumblers so that everything works and you can reset the ignition. All right. If you guys have any questions on that, feel free to leave those down in the comments. All right, guys, so we finished our work that required us to remove the ignition switch. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall it, okay? Real quick, I didn't show this before. You see that little knob right there? That's what you were pushing on 
with your screwdriver. So you're just getting your flathead up against that and pushing that up, okay? We're gonna go ahead and reinstall it. There is a spring. So make sure you got your spring in there. We're gonna make sure that we have it in the same orientation that we had when we pulled it out, which is hard over in the fork position, right? You're gonna get a little bit of spring tension as you get down in there. And then you just move it back to the unlock position on the key. And all of your positions, you can just go through all of your different positions from accessory right here. Back to ignition. Back to off. And back to fork lock. And as long as all four of those positions work, congratulations, you did it right. This is two blue Fred. We hope that you enjoyed our video about how to remove the ignition switch on the uh, the Harley Davidson 2017 Phantom Blue. Once again, this procedure should work for any of the Harley Davidsons that have this uh, ignition configuration right up here in the triple tree. So we got a brand new Facebook page. Check us out on Facebook. It's at uh, facebook.com slash 2bluefred. You'll see it flash in there in the video. Uh, also subscribe uh, That helps out the channel immensely. You have no idea how much that helps us and uh, You know give us a thumbs up Make sure you ring the bell if you have any questions or comments about this procedure Please don't hesitate to leave them down there and we'll be happy to answer those Guys, this is two blue Fred as always freaking ride every day